we had a, a purple family van, uh, <laughs> you know, a seven seater family van with six guys in it. Oh, wow. And, uh, yeah. Um, and that's how we, um, you know, lived. So basically the day was you, you know, start at seven, six AM and you drive six or seven hours to wherever the next show is. And then you get there at, at like, you know, one or two in the afternoon and, uh, then you load gear in, <clears throat> and then you have a couple hour break between the time you load gear in and sound check to, you know, walk to a restaurant or take a nap or do whatever you want to do for that span of time. And then you come back and play the show at, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 PM and then get in the van. And now in, in the early days we couldn't afford hotels. So we would at the show, it was like, please let us sleep on your floor. To, from from to the stage, whoever. you would say this? There would be times I would say it from the, the stage or we would at the merch table. <laughs> wow. Um, and, uh, you know, we've never been to this city before. We don't have money for a hotel. Can we please sleep on your floor? We met some amazing people doing that. You know, their parents would make us spaghetti or something, and we'd, uh, you know, lay out, they'd lay out little pallets on the floor or something for us. I mean, we met a lot of trashy people probably doing that too. Sketchy people who make bad decisions, like letting band guys sleep on their floor, you know. Mm. Uh, and so we uh, uh, we would show up uh, there at probably one or two in the morning after the show had ended, and we would sleep for five or six hours on somebody's floor, and then we'd get up and load all our gear into the van and drive for six hours to the next show, do it all over again. When you say sketchy, was there ever a time where you're like, "This is so bad, we need to like leave," like? As soon as they aren't looking at us, we need to make a break. Uh, th there were times when I felt that way. There was <laughs> the there Lord was, was leading you, but not the band. Yeah, there were a couple times. It was one when uh, my right after I got married to my wife, we uh, uh, walked into this house that had said we could stay there. And as soon as you walk in, you just get hit with like this wall of pet smell and oh. there's just pet hair and like cat turds on the floor oh. and we walked in and then just immediately turned around and walked back out to the van and we were like we'll sleep we'll sleep in the van uh <laughs> in the rest but the rest of the guys can be there to socialize and be cool and everything is is good uh there actually the night that i met my wife one of the reasons that we were talking was she she had uh offered for us to stay in her dad's basement he had a, a finished basement we could stay in Okay. Uh, you know, plush carpets to sleep on. It, it would have been a nice, a nice spot. But um, we ha we already had a place that night. So she gave me her number and said, "Hey, if you guys ever need a place to stay, just you know, in Birmingham, let me know." <laughs> and so, uh, so that night, uh, we stayed at one of the wildest places we have ever stayed. Uh, they they didn't have a driveway that we could drive our van and trailer down, so we had to park way out by the road and then this guy the dad of these girls from the show that had invited us to stay came out with his truck loaded us all in the back of his pickup and sort of drove us through the this path in the woods to get back to his house we get back to the house and there's multiple confederate flags waving outside and at this time i'm half black and I, I'm, I'm half black and half white and at this time i had long dreads i looked extra black and uh <laughs> and i thought man oh, this gosh. this guy is not gonna like me at all and I get into the house and there are framed photographs of actual slaves on the wall. There's people in chains working in cotton fields. And uh, and I think this is not going to go well. And now, I will say this. Everyone in that house was super nice to me and to all the other guys in the band. They, they weren't rude in any way. I'm not sure. We didn't. I didn't bring up the, hey, are you guys racist uh, conversation? I figured I was I was in their house. So uh, we're probably past that that point you know the point of deciding whether i was going to like these people or not you know we're here but at one point he pulled out a an uzi and was showing us his gun he had a rattle uh, a rattlesnake in a jar that he had caught a baby rattlesnake uh it was a, an adventure and they ordered us papa john's pizza so it was a good night but i i was texting <laughs> candace i just met her a few hours earlier and i was like we're definitely going to want to stay at your house next time this place is out of control uh, so that was a, a trip. We've stayed at some wild places for sure. I managed to survive that one though. Oh my goodness. 
I like I was getting nervous just as you were going through this story, you know? It's like when you watch a TV show and you know like if the main character is getting into trouble and you're like nothing can happen to the main character, like they they've got to get out of this somehow, mm-hmm. but the show makes you believe, you know, oh my goodness, something's going to happen. Yeah. Like I was literally like, did Maddie survive this story? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, he's here in front of me. I, this, right. this is the prequel sound. Hey y'all, we hope you loved this conversation. Here at Young Married Christian, we are on a mission to see a gospel-centered home made available for every single child in the foster care system. There are 400,000 kids in the foster care system and there are 400,000 churches in America. Wow, that is crazy. This is absolutely a solvable problem and we wanna be a part of it. If you wanna join us in that mission, text the word FREEDOM to 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. 833-370-1610. And another thing you can do that is really helpful is to smash the like button on this video. Smash it like Satan's face. Crush it like it's Lucifer's head. It really helps us a ton, so smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. That's it. (laughs) smash the like button on this video.